Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It snowed quite a bit last week, so much so that we were basically snowed in for a couple days. I was also extremely busy finishing up the episode. The final runtime was two hours and 16 minutes. We basically spent two days, just the entire day, trimming it down as much as we possibly could because it was like two hours and 40 minutes. It's a lean two hours and 15 minutes, and I know that sounds ridiculous, but it does move at a fairly quick pace. The filming for episode 50 is coming up very soon. There's some preparation we gotta do for that, uh, but yeah, we're back in the swing of things. These wireless microphones I've had for a little bit now, we've used them a couple of times, but I didn't really take the time to get them really set up and know the ins and outs of them. After this last road trip episode, I was really disappointed with the audio on the mountaintop. There was just so much wind and it was really hard to get the audio good, so there was lots of subtitles. It's actually really nice to have somebody in front of you. So I had a renewed interest in getting these properly set up. To that end, I've put little tape on the front side so that the logos are not all visible. On our backpacks, there is a perfect little strap, like right here, where we can put the microphone just like this. It's blacked out so it's not that intrusive. And then, when we want to record on this, the two receivers can be plugged right into the camera, and then each person turns their microphone on, simple button on the bottom, hold it for four seconds. Now, this little microphone is recording. So, if I happen to turn away from the camera over here, now you can't hear me very well with the camera on that microphone, but you can hear me pretty well with the microphone right here. This way, we can have four different people walking around. The camera is recording the audio received wirelessly, or if we're not happy with the quality of that or something happens, these little things actually record as soon as you turn it on. So right now it's actually recording what I'm saying. So we can go walk around, boom, boom. And the great part is we're always mic'd up. All you have to do is turn it on. Now ideally you want the microphone right here so that it's right under your voice. And if you turn your head to the right or if you turn your head to the left, then the sound is at least even looking left and right. And it's gonna be better for most of the time when you're looking forward. If we put it on one of these straps, it looks better because you can barely tell that it's there. But if I turn to my left and start talking, then the sound is much clearer and louder. And then if I turn my head to the right, it's gonna be a lot quieter and not as good. And then if I were standing and talking in the neutral position, it doesn't sound as good as if I'm talking to the left. Now, one thing I would actually like to do is to be able to clip them right here but I've found that this is just a little bit too obvious and intrusive. One way of getting around that is we could have each person plug in a lavalier mic, put this in their pocket, and then clip the microphone here. The other option is we could take these little Rycote undercovers and you can attach them to the underside of your shirt. So just imagine that this is under my shirt. This is a great option, but I kinda also just wanna test an episode with just the raw this thing, because it's got a really nice wind cover, it's not gonna have any clothes rustling sound because it's gonna be in the right spot. Yeah, I think I might try this first, and then we can try another episode eventually with these pinned under our shirts. <laughs> That'll do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. It's gonna take me a minute to get back in the swing of things. Oh man, when you get on a roll, it is just so easy to get things done and to have a good time and to feel like good. I feel like momentum is both your best friend and worst enemy. It also really helps to know what you're doing and to focus on that, even if it's not necessarily the right thing, to decide that this is what you're going to do and then focus on it 
with laser focus. It just feels better to do things that way than to just kind of flit about. Now the flip side of that is that you could be focusing on the wrong things just because it's the easiest nail to hammer in. When I was still helping run the Zumba studio, the most important thing that we needed to do was to advertise and get new students. That is a very hazy, difficult to figure out goal. So instead, I painted the back wall. So I guess the basic steps are triage and then laser focus once you've triaged. Is triage a verb? Yes. Yeah, it is, right? <clears throat> but that's just a quick little tangent. Uh, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'll see you in the next one. As we canoed peacefully across one of those lakes, we decided to find our way to the shore once again. So we see something over there, and we were told there was like an old wilderness camp or something like that. I don't know if it's still in use, but it sounded like it was abandoned. What is that though? Is that like a... I can't tell what that is. Maybe it's a boat ramp that's like folded up. Yeah, let's go check it out. It looks like there's a sandy beach there too. There was something enticing about the mystery of distant objects on the shore and the idea of exploring an abandoned camp. That's definitely a boat launching ramp, right? There's chairs too, and tires. This is, must still be used to some degree. It looks like it. From the shore were stairs leading higher up, with canoes and equipment on the side. Is Whoa. it like fresh firewood? Yeah, these look nice. Purgatory Lodge is a weird name for a lodge though. It is. We decided to inspect one of the empty cabins. There's like a bottle of Dr. Bronner's soap and it looks like there's fresh linens or something. Like I'm half worried something, somebody's just gonna pop up in front of the window. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Everyone got purgatory lodged. <laughs> it doesn't even look that old. Yeah, it's so weird. There's like so much stuff in these buildings that look fresh and new. But then you look at the outside and it definitely looks like it hasn't been used for years. I was gonna say, this is like the summer camp that Freddy Krueger comes to or whatever. <laughs> We hiked further in and found more abandoned cabins. Some of these cabins feel way older and more abandoned than the ones out there. Like the buildings look a little more worn down, but also the path is kind of overgrown and stuff. So I am wondering if like there's a ranger or something who comes out here regularly. Cause like, look, you can also see like they've cut some of this raspberry canes and ferns down. Hmm. So they're definitely like mowing and maintaining this. So I'm wondering if they're trying to, I mean, it seems like it'd be a waste to just not do anything with this stuff. Yeah. 